Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang, which began in 2009, has now acquired the form of a genocide. Thousands of Uyghurs have fled from Xinjiang province, but many of their family members are still back home. And worse still, close to one million have been detained by Chinese authorities in the so-called re-education camps. So who exactly are these people who have been detained by China and what are the charges against them? This report will tell you more. More than a million Uyghur Muslims in China's Xinjiang province have been detained. China claims it has put them in re-education camps. Neither the media nor human rights agencies have been allowed access to verify what happens in these re-education camps. But government papers which have leaked point to a very disturbing trend on what happens inside these camps. People are made to work like slaves, forced to give up on their Islamic beliefs, fed pork and under duress have been forced to swear allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party. In the recent years, China has also demolished many historic mosques and other cultural places of Uyghurs. What China is attempting is a systematic ethnic and cultural genocide of Uyghurs. So it's only natural that it's going after Uyghur intellectuals. Bugra Arkin's father was detained by the Chinese authorities two years ago. His father was a leading figure in the publishing industry whose firm had translated thousands of books. He is reportedly held in a re-education camp and his family has not heard of him since. Our people will became blind and easily assimilated because they took so many professors, so many writers, singers, like poets, editors. So right now, like, like they totally like erase like Uyghur language from everywhere, from the school, the universities. There is no Uyghur journal, even no magazine. Everything is Chinese and like even speaking Uyghur language in school is forbidden. More than 450 Uyghur intellectuals have been detained by Chinese authorities. A noted linguist, Hemdullah Rahman, whose work had even been fated by the Chinese administration earlier, was detained in January 2019. His son, Yashar Hemdullah, managed to escape to Norway. <laughs> Uh China is trying to erase the unique culture of the 12 million Uyghurs. In its Sinification project, it has detained Uyghurs on frivolous charges, like attending traditional wedding ceremonies, Muslim prayers, or even maintaining contact with family members of someone who has been sent to the re-education camp. Xinjiang is China's largest province. It shares its border with eight other nations. It's the gateway to President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative and the ambition of world domination. To this end, Xi Jinping is seeking to erase Uyghur culture in Xinjiang and quell any chance of resistance by imposing the dominant Chinese Han culture. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.